not arguing. That's that's not even true. You're just wrong. Hello, everyone. I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. My channel only survives because you guys are so awesome and you hit the little share check mark the, or the little it's like a little arrow it's kind of like the nike swoosh yeah, we're still we still disagree on this i don't even like the show that much i am only in it for that little baby freaking yo oh look at this little green booger oh look at him oh he's getting a froggy oh he's so cute i'm only watching it for him i don't care about anything else that happens on the show or any of the other characters because it's kind of dull and it's just not my cup of tea Nobody's arguing with me because we are not that side of, you know, we're not, we're not part of the little bully media that likes to tell us all we're a bunch of instant phobes and man babies, et cetera, et cetera, because that is not how Star Wars fans or Star Trek fans used to discuss these things. No, we used to be able to discuss them civilly. And that's what we're doing now. We've just all separated into the fandom menace. And you guys who all run and scream and send death threats and crap are all on the other side of the argument. That's why. And pretty much everybody sort of likes this. I mean, it's, it's fairly well received. There's a lot of people like me who are just kind of, eh, you know. But it's fairly well received by most, most, the majority, most of the Star Wars fans who have watched it. So you're just wrong and stupid and you're ugly too. If you've been following Star Wars for, uh, the past, okay, seriously, if you've been writing for, uh, more than a minute for Forbes, you should know not to do that. You'll know that fans, it's fans love endlessly debating its various major and minor entries. Arguments sometimes can turn quite hostile and in the modern era of social media have even spilled over to do active harm to some of the directors and stars of the latest films. No, we already heard what Ryan Johnson said. He said that he got one, one, one bad comment, and that was enough to make him lose his goddamn mind. The Mandalorian, the new Disney Plus live action Star Wars show, the first in history seems different. Well, I don't want to say no one is arguing about the Mandalorian in any capacity. You just did, though! You just did! You just, oh. Stop being... Oh. As in episode four wasn't quite as good as episode two or the Mandalorian's statement about removing his helmet may go against canon. Yeah, generally speaking. However, the main split among Star Wars fans is whether or not you like the show, really like the show or love the show. It seems to be uniting the Star Wars fan base on a level we have not seen in ages. Well, that's because of one thing. The little baby Yoda. The little, the little, look at him, the baby Yoda. Oh, he's so cute. And I know it's not his name, but he's a little Yoda species. And he's so cute. He's got big eyes. Oh, he's so cute. That's why I like it. And I'm not that attached to the rest of, of, of the show because it's not inside the main Skywalker saga. It's its own little separate thing. It's something I can pay attention to or not. And that is, that's part of why so many fans had such a problem with, you know, Mary Ray Sue. You can stop me. And then being the bestest Jedi ever. That's why so many people had a problem with her is because they were trying to shoehorn her in to replace any characters we actually liked or knew or cared about from the original trilogy. Or even the prequels. For those of you who grew up on the prequels, I'm original trilogy, I'm a boomer. This, is, this can stand alone on its own. And that's the important thing about Star Wars when you're introducing so many new things. And, and of course, there was a cinema, or I think it was cinema, no, CBR. Let me get that article. This, this crap. Mandalorian's baby out of further exposes the fan of Mary Sue hypocrisy. See, no, no, no. Bad, bad CBR, bad. Why this is wrong? Is because Ray comes in you can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from being the bestest thing ever with we're told is nobody, no backstory. She's no one. Her parents were drunks. If we're to believe the movies that we're told, 
And she came in center, front and center in the new trilogy. Look at something like Cobra Kai. What happens? Well, they spoon feed in the new characters, don't they? They give you Johnny. They give you Daniel. They give you recognizable characters because they know that they're bringing in people who are familiar with the brand, right? You, you don't go to McDonald's after 20 years and not order the same thing you did as a kid. You know, you don't go in there saying, hmm, maybe I'll try their, their, maybe I'll try this new salad that they're trying to give us or this new whatever. No, you go in and you want the Big Mac or the double cheeseburger or whatever you, you've grown up with. And that's kind of what we wanted. Something familiar. We want something a little more familiar than this. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jack. And with The Mandalorian, like I said, it's a separate story. We can take that and not really have this affect our, our original trilogy or the sequels, you know, or the, or the TV series for that matter. This is its own thing for now. We also don't know that much about this character. This character might have been trained. This character might be messing with us because, you know, he's a Yoda. He's a, Yoda. He's a little bit of a shit. Just like Yoda, he's a little baby, he's a little baby one. I mean, come on, you really think he's not able to talk? I think he's able to talk, he's just messing with us at this point. I'm four episodes in, we're going to see more. It was too early to say whether he's a Mary Sue or not, or if it's even a he. We don't know, it's a little baby, Yoda, he's so cute, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute, he's gonna eat that froggy. Oh, he's gonna eat that froggy. Oh, he's so cute. We don't know. Not only that, he passed out after using the Force. You know, spoiler from episode two. Rey is just good at everything all the time. No matter what, she can use Jedi mind tricks. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku. That's, that's her whole story. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi. Or you can't stop me. I'm a Je I can't even do it. I can't even do it. <laughs> So it's not hypocrisy here. It is uh, It is too early to say if he's a Mary Sue or not. Also, he's the cutest little thing ever. Back to this other article, though. There's a huge consistency problem surrounding Star Wars. No, we're not referring to the plot holes. To the, from film to film. Yet there are discussions to be had regarding either issue. The consistency problem happens to the rest of the show. There's some vocal fans of criticism of Rain. This equal to <laughs> No! They just do these things for their little hate clicks. I call them hate takes. We, like, like I said, we don't know enough about little baby Yoda, the baby Yoda, whatever, Boda. I call him Boda. Because Boda, hashtag Boda. We don't know that much about him yet. We know that Yoda was the, he was like the gold standard. He was the best from the original trilogy. Oh, you got to talk to Yoda. He, you know, oh, you're really force sensitive. Your father is really force sensitive. You got to go talk to Yoda. He'll know what to do. Yoda was always in my, in my experience with the Star Wars movies. I regarded him as the most powerful Jedi. And it makes sense to me. So far, that somebody else of his species would be that powerful. And if this is actually a clone of Yoda, he would also be very, very powerful in the Force, wouldn't he? So their whole argument is that we're not complaining yet about baby Yoda when we flat out were told in The Last Jedi that Rey was nobody. She's nobody. Her parents are nobody. Her parents are drunks and sold him, sold her for booze. Him. Why, wait, yeah, right. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku. We're not hypocrites. Okay? We're just taking something that we actually are enjoying for the most part or finding something. Because we want to like Star Wars. They act, they act like we just want to complain and piss and moan about everything. No, we want to love Star Wars. We want to consume this. We want to spend money on this. I, I've got porgs. And I'm not embarrassed by that. I have porgs for crying out loud. These people want 
to paint the fandom menace and all of us who criticize The Last Jedi like we're all a bunch of isthmophobes still because they have nothing else to say. And when we call them out on it, because now their new narrative is, oh, you just don't respect your women. Oh, seriously, I am Queen Mecca of the fandom menace. Last time I checked, uh, what was, was not male. No, I'm not. Also not a channel for little kids, etc., etc. We're not this little narrative that they like to push and they don't have anything else. They really don't. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.